the user logs into WireCloud through the account port. WireCloud presents to the user an empty workspace, which can be populated with widgets that are made available through the marketplace. FileApp Marketplace, for example, contains a number of free widgets, prefab mashups, and other components the user can experiment with. For example, the user shows interest in a pack of multimedia widgets. The user browses the details of this pack and discovers that it includes a number of interesting widgets for YouTube, Flickr, etc. So she decides to buy the pack. In this occasion, the user uses her already registered tax address when purchasing the offering. Once purchased, the resources in the pack can be installed into the user's local repository. These resources are now listed in the local repository and can be matched up in a new workspace. First of all, the user creates the new workspace and names it My Multimedia. Then she returns to her local catalog and adds the multimedia widgets to the workspace, one at a time. Once the four widgets have been added to the workspace, the user can easily move and or resize them to compose the mashup of her choice. The user now realizes that she needs an additional widget that allows her to introduce the searching criteria. She returns to the marketplace and follows the same process as before to acquire and install this new widget. The new widget is now available in the user's local catalog and can be added to the mashup. Now, if the user introduces a text in the input box widget just added, the rest of the widgets in the mashup do not respond to the event. This is because the user still has not wired them up. The latter can be done using the wiring tab. The user just needs to drag and drop the widgets she wants to connect and choose which slots need to be connected in order to exchange the right events between these widgets. The wiring tool guides the user in the process by highlighting which slots are semantically compatible with which ones and thus could make sense to interconnect. Nevertheless, the user is free to decide when a connection makes sense for the desired behavior. For example, if the user wants to show in the multimedia viewer the videos and the photos selected in both the YouTube browser and the Flickr widgets, then she needs to connect these three widgets as shown in the video. Once she is finished with the wiring, the user can return to the editor view and test the mashup. It now shows the expected behavior. The Wikipedia, YouTube and Flickr widgets now show items related to the keyword just introduced in the input box. And when she selects a video in the YouTube browser, it is automatically displayed in the multimedia viewer. And when she selects a video in the YouTube browser, it is automatically displayed in the multimedia viewer. The same applies for the photos shown in Flickr.